Hello again, Francois, back for round two. Now that we laid the groundwork in the previous video, I'm gonna move a little faster in this one, and we've got a few different things to cover because bars and restaurants and venues like that uh, handle a little bit of a different strategy. So looking at the content, again, this page is a little weak in the content that it has on there. Uh, so I would wanna probably optimize this a little bit and try to get some more text in there so we can put a few more keywords. Uh, as far as the authority, has a little bit more than the other page, not a whole lot. When it came to the search results, I want to say, I think seventh page. Yeah, we're in the seventh page. Believe it or not, there was actually a, your menu on the netwaiter.com outranked your actual homepage because they had more authority than you did. But that that's not terrible only because most people, when they're searching for a bar, restaurant, anything of that nature, they're mostly concerned with the map pack. They're on a smartphone. They're going to click in here based on their location so they can see where it is relative to them. And then they they're just want to get to your menu. So I think that most of the time, your best bet and your best bang for your buck is to spend time trying to optimize your listings inside here so that you're ranking up top. Now, for Middle East restaurants, we're right at the top because you actually have that content on your page. So the keywords are being pulled up and it's helping push you to the top in this. However, if we go into hookah, you're unfortunately pretty far down the list. So I would say getting this page optimized to push a little bit more authority and get some more keywords, not in necessarily to rank at the very top of the list here, but so that way more keywords can be found to help you get into the list here would be my game plan. That still the same thing with getting the citations. We need to optimize your listing with all the images that we want to geotag in there, updating and adding posts to your Google profile. We want to be doing all that on a regular basis so that way we're staying current because the way Google views it is if you're actively adding things and updating and doing things inside your profile, they assume with their algorithm that means you are a little bit more trustworthy because you're an active business. So they kind of reward that activity by recommending you. So optimizing this Google business profile is like I said, where I would spend all of my time or a majority of my time. However, we can't ignore the fact that we do definitely need to update and optimize this site in order for that to happen. Like I said, not nearly as much uh, on the linking side to try to rank in the organic results. Uh, we definitely could, and I mean, by optimizing the site, it'll naturally help you. Um, but I, it's a lot more beneficial for you as a business to be upfront in here than anywhere else. So same thing. Um, let me know when you've had a chance to view all this, and then we can sit down either on the phone or in person, and we can talk about a game plan and what it would take to get this updated and optimized, and then what we would have to do to make sure we can start pushing you up in the rank over here in the Google Business Profile and the Map Pack. So again, I appreciate your time. Uh, I look forward to speaking to you soon.